Ken Yetta and his family operate a small Yupik fruit farm near St. Paul, Alberta, and rely on wood for heating their home. As a result, he decided to design a wood splitter to run off the front end loader on his chore tractor. At first, I was just going to use the one cylinder inside of it, and I thought, well, the other cylinder from the other side is going to free wheel, so I just bent it over onto here and put two, two together. That way, it just makes it a little bit stronger. Uh, you can run the tractor just at an idle, and it'll split anything that's as high as this. Yet I used a salvaged piece of I-beam as a channel for the 24-inch hydraulic cylinder stroke and made the wedge where the wood blocks are actually split out of various pieces of salvaged iron. He came up with a relatively simple, low-cost way to control the system. I didn't want to move my levers because that would be an added expense as this was. It didn't cost me anything. So I just hooked up a pipe to the, to the lever, which I can work back and forth from here. And that way I didn't have to move the controls from the back of the tractor. Otherwise, by the time you buy a hose and everything, it would add another two, three hundred dollars to the cost of the piece of equipment. Their chore tractor is only about 40 horsepower, but it's plenty big enough to run the wood splitter. Yetta is quite happy with his invention, and the price was definitely right, since his only real expense was the welding rods he used for welding the various pieces in place.